Leaving the bike in the cab? Is a sure way to a solid night's sleep. Make sure I can get it out. Okay. Because this thing's old as sin, there's always something that's gone awry. And uh, the other night I tried to turn the heater on, but the igniter wouldn't start, so I was just hoping all it needed was a brand new AA battery. So we got that AA battery, and now we're gonna find out if we get to warm up. It didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work, and then all of a sudden, now it works. Yay! We're taking the noisy beast to the mechanic. At least I can get it to the mechanic. The glass is half full. The glass is half full. Brian's diesel and welding in Missoula, Montana. Fix that shit up in like 15 minutes. Brian is a true player. That was awesome. He didn't even charge me. So I'm gonna bring him a bunch of beer later. This is Tom Brobra with your SPD PSA saying you need to check your cleats. Hey, how you go so fast? No afraid of death. Is it your skinny tires? Yeah. The fact right. that you're, you're on 36 uh -huh. road bike tires? Yeah. Okay. When we drink Whoa. champagne and dance all night Under a electric candlelight She take me out, takes me on oh, the knee Savages! Boy, won't you come on to me? I'm not the world's most passionate guy <laughs> oh boy, how did I do this? I don't know how I did it, but I undid it. Amazing. Hey, hey. <laughs> Barely. Um, are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at all the little rippers. I like your bikes. I've never seen so many little humans on bicycles before. Isn't Missoula amazing? Convenient bags that Ivy makes, Ivanhoe Manufacturing, for carrying stuff at the end of a bike ride. How genius is that? I'm just saying. Pretty good. I want one. Anchor strap. One. She want wants one. one. I want one. Ivy makes them. Ivanhoe bag. We've got full burrito log and full adult beverage. Cylinder holder. 100%. We guys keep it down. I'm trying to film stuff over here. That little girl, she and me, 
See you later. Man, Tennessee has the greatest trails right outside their back door. It is insane. These are some spoiled folks. I'm just saying, lightweight jealous. Constant FOMO. And the ride by the numbers. Two hours, rolling time. 18 miles. 2,000 feet of elevation gain. She meant to say N2000, but it's fine. Like I don't, it's really, it's totally, that's her thing and this Freedom. is my thing. <sighs> you like the Montana trip so far. If you do, go ahead, hit the like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this trip. Do you like it? Do you hate it? You got any suggestions of where I should take the Millennial Vulcan next? Let me know down below. Stay tuned. We're gonna, we're gonna conclude this guy next week. So do I make it home alive? Does the camper van make it? Does it break down again in the middle of Idaho? For the love of God. If you haven't subscribed, now is absolutely the time. And big shout out to all that have joined the channel memberships. You guys are the lifeblood of this channel. Much respect, thank you. If you're interested, check this link right here. If you're lost on what's going on with this trip, go ahead right here's the first installment. You'll get all caught up, it'll be great, yeah.